Royal Mail shares leapt by as much as 36% in early trading on their London Stock Exchange debut. The firm was valued at around £3.3 billion by the government's offer price of 330 pence, but the price opened at 450 pence amid enormous demand for oversubscribed Royal Mail shares among investors. Labour's opposition business secretary, Chuka Amuna, has attacked the government on accusations of undervaluing the Royal Mail, but the minister responsible insisted that taxpayers are well served by the flotation. Cable had previously estimated that there had been around 700,000 applications for Royal Mail shares ahead of the privatisation. Royal Mail staff have been handed 10% of the firm's share capital and the government retains 37.8% shareholding. Of the base offer, 67% of shares were offered to institutional investors, while 33% were offered to retail investors. There was a £750 minimum investment set for retail buyers. The government said 93,000 members of the public who had applied for the minimum amount of shares would receive them in full. Those who applied for more than £10,000 worth would not receive any shares. Anticipating the high level of demand for the shares, the government set an over-allotment option as a stabilising measure for the 30 days after the IPO. If this option is used, the government's shareholding will be eroded further to a floor of 30%.